Hello everyone, it's me once again. So um, what we have here is an RC car from a company called Comsmile. So Comsmile and I, we both agreed that we're going to do a giveaway uh, under the condition that this video reached more than 1000 views and 25 likes. And one of the person actually comments down below on this video uh, will be the winner. And it depends, there's a bit of a condition where uh, where you live because um, Consmile is actually an Amazon distributor um, and um, I think you have to live in a region where Amazon is available and etc. Anyway, so this particular product is a, um, I think I ordered the green one and the reason I asked for this when I had various choices for Consmile product is that this product doesn't seem to be reviewed that much on YouTube so I might as well contribute that. Uh, and so on, but just a quick look on it. It has a 15 plus kilometers per hour speed. I think that's pretty fast. It needs to be more than six plus uh, years old uh, age to be used this. I mean, if, especially if you're a child, if you have a child below three years old, please make sure they avoid because if they choke on the battery, you know how horrible that could end. Uh, it seems to be chargeable by USB cable. That is really good. I love any product that can be charged on USB because that's so useful. And um, it seems to have um, many different I, um, features as well. So rubber tire, obviously, um, shock observer. Yep, we can see that and um, climbing it's really good at it and 2.4 gigahertz control and two wheel drive um, as well so let's get into the unboxing so here it goes okay so let's cut out some of the tapes here moment of truth let's see what's inside nice look at that this is exactly what you're gonna get ah okay we got it upside down that's fine Whoa, <laughs> it's like a um, childhood dream come true, isn't it? So it comes with a screwdriver. I presume that's for helping putting in the battery and voila. Okay, so pretty light, but one of the reasons could be that there's no battery, which I have to get it myself. I don't think there's battery inside, but this seems to be the on and off button. This is how you open it with after you unscrew it. This is left and right, I believe. Uh, this is where you have to adjust to make sure it, it doesn't lean against one side. Um, and yeah, it's pretty well built actually. Uh, you can see that all the wheels, let's look at the wheel here. That's well constructed, isn't it? Shock observer as well. You can see all the springs. So, that's how you could see how it observes shocks and etc. So that's the rear of it. Okay, and so on. Remote control as well is um, so this doesn't come out, or well, it kind of rotates for some reason. But does it really come out? No, I think it's going to stick the way how it is. So I think you can control it by doing this. I haven't actually used any of these control ever in my life, so please uh, forgive me if I'm not explaining it well, but okay. I'm pretty sure this will also need a battery as well here. Um, so this is the USB uh, cable. I don't know whether you can see that you could connect it up and charge. And these are the batteries that you need to put in, okay? And lastly, this is just a quick manual, so please do pause and check it out. Brilliant. All right, so the quick setup is that um, you get this USB cable. This needs to be hooked on or clicked into this bit here. So you can see that it's actually nicely um, fixed. And this is the way you uh, have to charge your AA uh, battery, lithium battery. Okay, and that will actually be slot into uh, here. So there will be a wire that is connected and then all you need to do is um, close the lid. Okay, and then you uh, basically screw it in. So it's all nice and secure. Okay, so you can see that this has a really good sort of shock observing ability but not only that the wheel itself is really nice 
Let's check out the shock absorbing technology. Oh, that was quite subtle. Okay, a bit higher. You see that it's bouncing back? That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, um, one would expect uh, the tire to be really um, tight, but I can only see the reason for this is for the, all the agility and um, shock observant, etc. So it's a nice feel so far. Once the battery is on, that's a nice weight. And um, for this one, the remote control, you need two AA batteries to be slotted in. So it says one plus and one minus. Um, so let's, that, let's put that in. So I believe this is plus and this is the, okay. So that's all good to go. Turning left, right, you can see the mechanism behind it. Pretty awesome, I would say. I know it's a simple mechanism there, but yeah, just to give you insight of it. Cool. So the quick control is that um, you do left, right, left, right, obviously. And then if you want to accelerate, which is you press down. If you want to reverse, you go. So let's do that very quickly, just slowly. So that's very easily controllable as well, isn't it? So let's see if I could reverse it and then control it. Ooh, okay, almost fell down the table, but yeah, that's quite good, isn't it? So let's get on to the outdoor activity. So here it goes. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so that was a smooth ride. I kind of enjoyed it, if you see what I mean. And um, the way how it turns left and right and circle around and the maneuver uh, seems to be good. And also the way how it could absorb. As you know, I didn't really have that much of an obstacle that I could try, but hopefully I'll do that in the near future and let you guys know. But anyhow, overall, the concept is really good. I like the way how the battery itself uh, which is about 500 milliamp hour, which is pretty good. Uh, needs to be charged on a USB cable that could be connected to my um, computer. Um, and then once the red light that is indicated is charging is finished, then it, the red light will disappear. And the control, as you know, is a typical standard um, RC uh, controller, which is turn left and right and going forward and backwards. And yeah, the, it's pretty straightforward indeed. So make sure you check out their Amazon uh, uh, selling a website that I'll actually highlight on the link down below. And this is actually the 26 pounds and 89 pence in British pounds that is actually available for Prime. If you're a Prime member, you'll get it pretty straight away. So make sure you comment down below, like, let's make it happen for 1000 views and 25 likes. And I'm sure uh, Cosmile will choose a lucky winner, uh, hopefully a based in Amazon uh, reachable country. And um, one of your lucky winners will get this for free. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJB Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.